Today's Ask Reddit post, those who have been in a coma, what was it like? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one, let's get started. I was in a very short coma, 6 days, after a brain hemorrhage. I recall nothing during the coma, I have a fuzzy understanding of my first week or two after waking up, having pieced it together by the stories I was told, and memories of the day, days, leading up to it were temporarily wiped out. Though they have since returned, this was over a decade ago, so take this with a grain of salt. My memory in general is imperfect at best. Edit. I should mention that my coma was induced so they could stabilize me and drain the blood via my skull. My mum had the same thing. Unfortunately hers was so severe and she died 5 days into her coma. I'm kind of glad that you don't remember your coma because I like to think her last moments were having fun with her family not being scared knowing she was gonna die. I had a motorcycle wreck a few years ago. Someone texting blew a stop sign and ate ended up t-boning them. Not sure if coma is the correct term, but I was definitely unconscious for 2 days. Honestly just felt like the worst, least refreshing nap in the history of naps. Had the wreck on a Sunday, woke up sometime Tuesday afternoon evening and asked if the bike was okay. It wasn't. It'd love a bike one day but stories like this always scare me off them. My dad used to live in Vietnam and ride with him mates and the amount of horror stories has scared the poop out of me. Not me, but my dad has described his coma after his car accident. He was pulled up a little too far at a stop sign. And a guy who was speeding and on his phone swerved off the road. So he was in a coma for about 2 months. On my end. It wasn't like the movies. He didn't just wake up miraculously. It was 2 months of steady improvements. One eye opened. Then a few days later his other eye was half open. Then he could wiggle a toe. Then he could move his fingers. Etc. On his end. He said he could hear bits and pieces of what was happening around him. But it was like a dream that he couldn't wake up from. When me and my two younger siblings would come in and talk to him. His heart rate would go down. When a football game was on and his friends came to sit with him and watch it. The nurses made them turn it off once his team started losing because his heart rate blew up. Edit. He's a fan of the Miami Dolphins. So I guess his HR never fully returned to normal. Edit 2. An award? I've never got an award BF for. But seriously, thanks for the awards and the stories, guys. My wife was in a diabetic coma for two weeks when she was in elementary school. She knew her sugar was low. Then all of a sudden she woke up in the hospital with absolutely no idea that any time had passed. Sugar inhibits our natural ability to time travel. Got it. But only forward. We must find the substance that inhibits reverse time travel. I was in a coma for 3 days following a serious cycling accident, medically induced. I woke up with zero recollection of why I was there or what was said while I was out. It is easily the scariest situation I found myself in. But I can't say I remember it. I woke up to my mom and dad in the hospital with me and my body in traction of some sorts and that was way scarier to me. You were actually just really tired. I want you to take this down vote and remember it as your most proud down vote. I had meningitis when I was 12, which got misdiagnosed for stomach flu and ended up with me being taken to the hospital last minute. The last memory I had was falling asleep watching the emergency news on the Brussels airport attack. I later on had a sort of fever dream, which ended up to be true, about my parents driving me to TGE saying it's okay over and over again. I couldn't move or talk, so it seemed more like a dream than something that was actually happening. I saw the lights of the parking lot which made me close my eyes and after that it was like taking a nap. I had no awareness of time at all. It's like going to sleep and just waking up what feels like a second later but it's actually morning already. I woke up 6 days later, highly drugged but only gained consciousness the day after. My first memory after waking up is opening my laptop in the hospital bed to play Minecraft. I have no idea what happened or what I said when I woke up before that. Wakes up from a coma shrugs and starts up Minecraft. Was hit by a car when I was 5 years old. Ended up with toxic shock syndrome and went into a coma for 4 months. 
I just remember some very weird dreams. Which I can still recall vividly 26 years later. Someone mentioned something about visiting another realm. And that's pretty close to the mark. What happened in these dreams? Got hit by a truck. I was in a coma for 4 days. It felt like a power nap but in the hospital. Edit. I was worried when I woke up. I had no idea where or why I was. I doubt any of us know why we are. Why is Gamora? This is so interesting to read everyone's experience. I'm an IQ nurse and I work with patients in comas all the time. I talk to them. I let them know why I'm touching them whether it be to give them medication. Draw lab work. Bathe them. Clean them after an incontinent episode. I'll also reorient them to where, why, and how they're in that situation. I'll also tell them when their loved ones called to check on them. I would feel awful knowing someone I took care of had flashbacks of feeling violated during a coma. Same here. Work critical care dialysis. And I always talk to my patients. Telling them what I'm doing. How it's going to feel. Offer reassurance. And some time. And luckily for them I hum or sing a song. I like to assume they can hear at least a little of what I'm telling them. I assume a coma is a scary place. And if I can offer even 5% comfort to them, then so be it. It was dark. I was in one for 4 months a couple of years ago. And it didn't feel like 4 months. Just like a long sleep. With the occasional memory of my mom crying or begging me to wake up. I remember this vividly. I woke up in the hospital. Surrounded by my friends and family and the first thing I remember asking was. You should have posted this with a serious tag. R angry upvote. So angry rn. I wasn't in one for long. Just under a week. While I was in the coma. I didn't remember a thing. When I came out of it. I just remember hearing my mom yell to the attending he's up. Then I woke up with a bunch of white coats in the room. I was super stiff and incredibly confused. Oddly enough, I kept having vivid dreams of myself in the coma after the fact. Still have them to this day. They're almost like an out of body experience because I can see myself laying in the bed with people around me. I have those dreams about when I had the swine flu as a kid. I can see myself in my parents bedroom and everything is a bit purple. In 2016 I was in a coma from the 31st of March to the 5th of May, then half awake for another month after that. It was like the longest scariest dream of my life. I was medically induced by a fentanyl drip for about a week at first and let me tell you. Fentanyl is a demon. Wacky dreams about fighting corrupt hospital officials. So my brain knew where I was. They didn't think I'd ever talk or walk again. But in the hospital bed I laughed at an episode of that 70s show and inclined every day after. Putting me at about 85% health over all these days. But pretty much an average guy. Oh it was a head injury. Had a seizure in the bathroom that made me fall onto the sink. My brother was in a coma. He doest remember the weeks months leading up his accident or the months following his waking. He had a very severe tb. Tb. Too much information. I was in one for like 2 weeks I would not wish it on anyone. For me I was in a long dream. I did realize I was asleep for a long time. I was still able to feel and hear. Which was interpreted into my dream. Example. My hands were restrained so I would not pull out any tubes and my dream was that I was being held in a prison. What a bad dream. Imagine if you were in a coma and the dream was constant good like an island filled with beautiful women. I'd jump from the balcony to get in a coma if that were the case. I was in coma because I fell 15 meter and broke nearly all of my the bones in my back and it was horrible. When I woke up I thought the nurses were torturing me and that I need to escape. I started hallucinating a lot and couldn't even understand that I am in hospital. The biggest problem were my dreams. I thought I was a time traveler or some kind of god. I thought I was shot by the police and other poop. I still have flashbacks to this day and it is no fun. But I am getting therapy to deal with it. And I could watch porn in my dreams so yeah. It was confusing and horrible at the same time. Zero stroke 10 would not do again. What kind of porn? 
not a coma but I'll just classify this as sleeping in odd places not on purpose. I blacked out for quite a bit of time. Due to heat stroke. Apparently I was just passed out on the ground. I woke up feeling a warm tingling sensation. I honestly thought I was just in bed. But no. I was in the middle of a shopping center with my brother standing over me laughing. Your brother sucks. Heat stroke can kill you. So can brothers. A kid I went to middle school with spent 5 months in a medically induced coma waiting for a new heart. He said that in dream time it was equivalent to several years during which he could fly and was stronger, but also had to fight clowns with chainsaws. He was aware that he was in a coma but couldn't really do anything about it, obviously. Interestingly enough, there was a point in this dream where he was tasked with doing something that was literally impossible and he was somehow able to do it. In the real world, I believe medical professionals at one point said it was literally impossible for him to recover. I'm not sure what health complications were happening during this time, or if this was pre or post transplant. The mind's quite good at keeping us occupied. Like before you were born. I get this on LSD. Whoa well, how much did you take? Did you black out? I've been in two medically induced comas. Both times it was like being in a dreamless sleep. I was unaware of time passing. Which was weird waking up and then being told it was Thursday when last I remembered it was Monday. I don't remember anyone talking to me. But my mum said she spoke to me every day and the only time I would react was when she mentioned a certain name. She said whenever she said his name my eyes would flutter. Other than that there was no response at all. It's also very confusing the first 30 minutes at least as the drugs are still wearing off. You're intubated. Have a nasogastric tube for feeding. A central line for drugs and a catheter for urine. All of this is usually removed which isn't pleasant and you're still trying to wake up and make sense of your situation. I would say not one of the top 10 experiences to have before you die. I can only compare it to when you're little and wake up at a friend's house and don't know where you are. I was in a coma for 2 months after a bad car accident. It wasn't medically induced. It was thanks to brain damage. When I woke up I was alone in the hospital room and had no clue what happened or why I was there. I had a neck brace on due to a broken neck so I figured something was wrong with my neck but was unsure how or what happened. For some reason I thought I was 60 years old. I was in my 20s. I was paranoid and scared, but didn't know why I was there. I used context clues to figure out I was in the hospital. It was frightening. After about 5 minutes I decided to go back to sleep. 2 months of sleep wasn't quite long enough. It felt like a series of dreams. I think I was a detective at one point. Also a plane pilot and a spaceship captain. Archer reference. In case anybody missed it. You're in a coma right now. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Comma those who have been in a coma. What was it like? Have you ever waited at the DMV? Or maybe visited North Dakota? Reposting from another thread I talked about it. Two weeks induced because of swine flu. During this time Oprah announced she was ending the Oprah Winfrey show. I was very upset to learn this after the fact. Mostly because the TV running in my room and the drugs they gave me to keep me under gave the most cinematic dreams I've ever experienced. Somehow the news of Oprah retiring filtered into my brain as dreaming about saving the whales with her in a submerged Chicago. We had champagne brunch. It was excellent. I was also a superhero who could fly and fought my enemies on the rims of volcanoes. And then I woke up and not only could I not fly, but my buddy Oprah had betrayed me into retirement. I was crushed. I was in a medically induced coma for about a week. I was metabolizing the propofol, SP, very quickly. I can remember coming to my hand strapped to the bed and a ventilator tube in my throat. I would panic and try to communicate with my hands to the voices I heard in the room. My entire family was in the room during one of those times waking up. I was so frustrated that I couldn't communicate I ended flipping them all off with both hands as the nurse administered more medication and I passed out again. My family was relieved that I was still in there and laughed. When I finally came out of the coma it took me a few days to learn to use my legs again. 
I had the craziest most vivid hallucinations and my sense of what is real and what was a hallucination is still kind of fuzzy. I know the totem pole of people smoking a cigar and blowing all of their collective smoke through the hole in the roof wasn't real. That's so crazy it's obvious. But I don't know if all the nurses, conversations with family members are real. I still question my memories to this day and it's been about 8 years. Opiates are a ducking dangerous drug kids. Be careful and do your research on harm reduction. I wouldn't wish an overdose on anyone. My brother was in a coma for two days. Says he remembers everything before and after it. His first word when he woke up was chicken. He was nine when it happened. Chicken. I got injured in Iraq in 2010. I was in a medically induced coma for about a week. I flatlined four times. I wasn't too aware of the outside world. Pain. Definitely. I am highly resistant to pain meds, sedatives, and stimulants by a genetic mutation. So, me getting 1000 micrograms of fentanyl for an hour operation is completely normal. Not including ketamine and hydromorphone. Ketamine being in a pain pump going in my spinal cord. I was in a completely other reality for that week. I heard conversations, felt certain things, occasionally opened my eyes, because of propothil, I can't remember how it's spelled, and whatever other drugs that are meant to keep you asleep were mostly effective, but, I would wake up and start fighting the nurses in Walter Reed and BAMC, I have some trouble separating my comatose mind from reality, especially for the first 3 months after my injuries, since I was on so much meds, still kinda am but nowhere near what I was while in the hospital. I could get more than 5 hours of sleep for once. I was in a coma for 2 hours after a car accident it just flashes then blackness for what feels like a few seconds then you wake up. I was in a medically induced coma for 3 days during my cancer treatment. My identical twin brother died around a year prior, also to cancer. And the entire time I was in the coma, I was with him. We were in a large green field with lots of sun and my conversations with him felt real. Other than that, I didn't hear any of my family talking to me while I was asleep. It was just like I had gone to bed for 3 days. And I woke up feeling very tired. I do wonder whether my interactions with my twin brother was real. Or if it was just the drugs I was given causing them. I like to think it was real. To me, he isn't dead spiritually if you still treasure the memories. In all seriousness go and check out you Miracleman31. Jacob is frigging amazing. Awesome story but wow he spams reddit a lot. I was hit by a direct bolt of lightning when I was 12. Playing catch with my best friend in a light drizzle. Next thing I know I'm in an ambulance. Then next thing after that it's been 6 days. Apparently you can have a lot of little heart attack stoppages when you've been hit by a bolt like that, even hours or days later, until your heart muscles all resynchronize, and a defibrillator isn't guaranteed to fix it. I remember absolutely nothing, including the sensation of falling, or being, asleep. It was like that episode of Futurama with the Harlem Globetrotters and the time skips, playing catch with Steven. Whip and I'm in the ambulance with a huge black guy looming over me. Whip and I'm sitting up in a strange bed with lots of plastic on me. Fun fact. I was hit indirectly, under a tree, by another bolt some years later. And though I never lost consciousness, I spent a week as a nervous wreck convinced my heart was going to randomly quit. It felt like a very long sleep I mean very long sleep well kids don't get hit by a bus kids. I was in coma for 2 years when I was out of it I feel that I was sleeping for 1 night only. Why were you in coma so long? What happened? He's lying. I have a close friend who was in a med induced coma. It's not my place to say but his experience was terrible. Vivid nightmares. Horrible dreams that he can't separate from reality today. And if you have to have those tough conversations about the person, don't do it in the room with them. He could hear it. He heard everything. Same with my father. He developed an infection and had to be placed in a coma. 
He has very real PTSD from it and never fully recovered emotionally from being under for two weeks. He recalled things he shouldn't have heard experienced. Listen here you little poop. I was in a coma twice due to hypothermia and I remember dreaming. Deep vivid dreams. I usually don't dream when I sleep hardly at all. But for two days I could not wake up from any dream. They would just bleed into the next dream. Even if it was a nightmare I would just continue on into the next dream like I had woken up but then at some point I would realize I was still dreaming. It was creepy. I still hate dreaming and am glad I don't hardly ever remember mine. My best friend was in a medically induced coma for two weeks and he truly believes he fought the devil in the depths of hell and then had a talk with God on a mountain about it. He says God told him he could never be this weak again. He also thought he got a make a wish and went on an elk hunt. He woke up and asked his wife when his elk would be back from the taxidermist. My daughter was in a medically induced coma for two days from a drowning accident. She made a full recovery. But the things she told us about freaked me out but my wife kind of knew and accepted it. Imagine having your 3 year old tell you about playing mermaid tea party with your dead parents. Then describing how she was denied being able to come into the gates of heaven because Saint Patrick told her it wasn't time yet. I know it's supposed to be Saint Peter. But I wore a shirt that reads Saint Patrick is my homeboy and she exclaimed excitedly that she met him. The after effects have been extremely weird. Mentally she is okay. Physically and emotionally okay. But she sees ghosts. I could write a whole Arnolab series on what she sees and the things she has said. The most recent one was a few months ago after her uncle my brother-in-law passed suddenly. I've had a couple friends that was in comas. With the next scar. You know. I never asked what it was like cause I figured they wouldn't know but I asked what happened and one was in a car accident and the other was basically an overdose. Good friends. I was in a coma for around a month. The month went by super fast. Like half of a second. But here's the weird part. My family and friends came to check on and talk to me during the coma. I remember what they said. But don't know when they said it. My nurse fell in love with me. But I was only faking being in a coma to prevent having to testify at my father's trial. I finally couldn't take it anymore and needed to reciprocate my feelings for her. But she called me a coward for faking the coma. I'm a monster. I was in a coma naturally for a day or so, then medically induced for about 6 weeks. Straight up nothing. No darkness. No dreams. No voices. Just woke up like nothing had happened. I could tell time had passed when I woke up, but didn't know how much. Waking up was crazy though. Some kind of existential water slide with my body at the bottom. Not technically a coma. I was straight up dead for a couple of minutes. I remember feeling darkness all around me and being very cold. Then I came to in the back of an ambulance and was like what the duck just happened? Wouldn't recommend death tbh. It was all black. Then I started hearing some forest sounds. And some silver text popped in front of me. After a while I saw some strange men and that's when I heard it. Hey you. You're finally awake. N. Why do my eyes hurt? M. You've never used them before. Do you think your brain was trying to wake you up? It's called IQ delirium. Some people feel things are being done to them like being buried alive or having legs and arms amputated. I had IQ delirium and had the most intense and horrifying delusions. I didn't know a mind could go to such dark places. But mine didn't it scared me half to death. It has taken months to get some of what I thought I was experiencing out of my head. Can I ask what they were about? No worries or pressure if you don't like talking about it though. Bro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.